Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some Brotato. We're gonna tr look at the um, Ghost Weapon mod. It is uh, New Ghost Weapons. It is made by uh, Chinese characters. <laughs> I, I don't care. Um, yeah, so so it's it's new. Um, obviously, as you can see, new uh, ethereal weapons. So you have the Ghost Pistol which increases range for every 20 enemies you kill. There's the Ghost Pruner, which spawns the tree and gives you harvest uh, harvesting for every 20 enemies you kill. That could be very interesting. Uh, there's the Ghost Shield, plus one dodge for every 30 enemies you kill. And it scales off dodge? Ooh. Very interesting. Ghost Wrench, plus one engineering for every 20 enemies you kill. This could be really, really fun to rock. Um... And then Ghost Trident is my least favorite out of all of them. It cooldown is 5.45 seconds. Five and a half seconds for every three shots. That seems terrible. Now, I think the reason is because it, it increases the amount of enemies. I think I'm going to do the wrench. Now, what I'm unsure about, this could make this a super crappy weapon absolutely worthless weapon in my opinion do I have to manually kill with wrench if I have to manually kill with wrench this might be really crappy because obviously it's harder to um, determine that Okay, so we have, we'll have we never have armor, obviously. That's how this works. This scales off of engineering, which is very good. I think we're going to go with some regen early on. I think we're going to go with some regen early on. Uh, probably take that. Another wrench. This might be okay. God, I, I can't see this being good. Six seconds? But I think it's also to make sure that you don't um, flood too hard. But it's interesting that the wrench uh, scales 100% with engineering, making it a little more attractive of a take. Ah, shoot. I was hoping we'd get another one. Oh, well. Um, We'll go with some... Harvesting wouldn't be the worst. Crit, not gonna matter. Oh, some attack speed. These are pretty slow. Same speed as the wrench. Same speed as the wrench. And I'm just gonna take this. It's gonna give me some dodge, and I need lots of dodge. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it won't include the turrets kills, which is like a huge bummer. Ooh, that was scary. I'm one-shottable currently. Ooh. Gotta make sure I stay out of there. Uh, Sifties would be really good. The Gecko would be really good. Definitely need those. I'll lock that. Uh, I would think it was 31. So, what's their knockback? 20? I actually don't think I'll... I don't think I will. But it'll be interesting to see, like, if, if this follows the same philosophy, the same tenets uh, as the normal wrench. Like, are we going to see, you know, a different turrets? Are we going to see, like, a ghost bouncy turret? That would be really cool. I'd like to see a bouncy turret. I think a bouncy turret could be really dangerous um, as far as, like, potentially overloading the game. 9 HP is insanely huge. Um, I think I'm going to go with the engineering because these... Ooh. All right, we'll just go. More turrets. I do enjoy being some more turrets. Always a big fan of that. Um, but yeah, the, the 
bouncing turret might, like, overload it if you get too many of them. Obviously, that would be sad. That's kind of... It, 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 no, it's not kind of weird. It's super weird that I'm running turrets. And I'm actually staying away from enemies. If I didn't take that 9 HP, I literally would be dead. There is no doubt in my mind I would be 1 trillion percent dead. No, I will not lower my HP. More regen will be good. I do definitely... Uh, I'm not going to take it. Because I don't know how these upgrade. And I really need, like, some bigger stuff first. Take those. I know it lowers my dodge a little bit. We're already at 62. And having better ways to heal is always extremely important on any any Brotato run. The trees or turrets might actually turn out to be a bad thing for scaling, but I think it'll be a good thing for damage. It's always a good thing for damage if you're running it, because more turrets. Um, but if, if the wrench itself, which I'm 99% sure the wrench itself is the thing that has to get the kill. Have I gotten zero? I think I got one engineering up that round. That's pretty wild. Go some speed. We'll go some attack speed. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Take that again. Get a little bit more dodge. Attack speed up. Um, do I want the eight dodge? Nah. I will not take more enemies. More dodge. It's also harvesting, which is going to help me out. It's going to help me out. For certain. I don't know why, but I just wanted to slur my word. Like, really bad. I wanted to say certain. Wait, that's... Is that slurring my word? Or is that just lisping? I wanted a lisp. Uh, no, a lisp is different than that. Whatever. I, I don't know what word I'm trying to say. Words are hard, man. <laughs> but it was... Uh, yeah, the... Um, it should be good. To get, like, this extra power. Yeah, I think it's going to be difficult to raise up my engineering at this point currently but that also just means i'm killing things really quickly so that's not that's not a problem or, or you know it's a quality problem to have okay so it is flame so it's almost assuredly going to be the same Almost assuredly going to be the same uh, tiers, so probably focusing on some engineering would not have been a bad idea. What hit for one? Did the puff of fire only hit for one? Our damage is good. Like just just on our wrenches, our damage is pretty solid. Pretty pl I'm pleased with that. And then having, you know, a bunch of turrets. Now, I do believe elites are going to be really, really bad. The 18 additional HP I got is huge from the two nines. Like, I can't tell you how much I, I desire HP anytime I'm on a ghost run. Even just a dodge-centric run. I really, really want that. Um, I'm going to take the engineering. <sighs> I think I'm going to take the engineering. I think that'll be for the best. The This is speed and health. And this is not going to affect anything. Well, it technically affects the melee on this, but whatever. No. Um... That should be pretty decent. Take that. Well, take it. 
It wouldn't hurt me to have some additional um, attack speed. That'd be very good. Because I think we're at 1.4 seconds. 1. Yeah, 1. 1.4 seconds. The blue obviously has it scaled up. I was thinking about from the 1.6 we had originally. There we go. Getting some engineering. Honestly, this weapon might be something you'd want to take on the Engineer. Like, Engineer doesn't care about his damage. He doesn't get a benefit for armor. So this might actually be something he'd want to take. So it's not just good on the, uh, on the Ghost. And its damage is not bad because it scales with Engineering. So it, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. I'm really glad it doesn't scale with melee. That would that would suck. Shackles would love to take this. The regen and the NG would be really good. I don't want to be locked at three speed. I really don't feel comfortable at three speed. Ten speed? I, I could be comfortable at ten speed. But that's too low. Take that. Just get the extra HP. I don't want to lose too much regen, but 10 HP is 10 HP. Oh, you know what? Um, let's actually do this. That way we have... Um, it's not just fire. Because fire... You don't want too many fire, because it doesn't... It just resets the burn proc. It doesn't actually further your run. So... Oh, um, okay. Well, thank God for the dodge. Um, so we have even, even, even. Okay, so the engineering goes 12, 16, 20. Not great. It speeds up okay. Every 18, every 15. Uh, how many enemies you need to kill before you get a uh, positive outcome? Or, sorry, a um, statistical buff. So that is actually one of the reasons why you might want to have more blue turrets than you think you need. But yeah, we'll, we'll definitely want lots and lots of turrets. Um, because we get buffed really, really big. And also when we take damage, we take big damage. Like I think I just took a 20. Nearly a 20. Which is very scary, but we are at double damage. Nearly double. I think it's... I think it's something like 20... It's like 89% more damage, I think. Something like that. 88% more damage. Um, I can take that. Um, that's. F I'm taking that for the 5 HP, honestly. Okay, 15. 15 speed is a lot more... Uh, I'm a lot more comfortable at 15 speed. Huge, huge, huge. Yeah, I think that'll be really good. Um, what's my pickup radius? I'm going to take this just so that I can pick things up from a much wider radius. Having two horde waves, I think, is probably for the best. Um, elites are in my opinion much harder to take down with engineering a lot of the time also we scale off of uh having more enemies to kill so like it's it's really good to have more enemies in that scenario obviously because it means there's more chances to proc and get additional stats which there you could probably make an argument that maybe i should be taking more um you know like uh gentle aliens we have more uh, enemies naturally spawning my argument against that is um actually i might i'm crushing it so like it makes me feel a lot more confident like i i am crushing it so maybe if i see additional enemies i will take it because we we took care of that literally no problem literally no problems. I'm gonna take this. The engineering is really good. The speed's good. Crit doesn't matter. And the armor doesn't matter. The engineering and the speed is why I took that. Um, I think it'll be 
good for us. Sure, attack speed up. I, I mean, that... Three armor made a difference of 1% damage, and 1% damage is no difference. Hmm... Nah. Uh, the reason I'm not taking that is it's it's going to be really easy to have a ton of um, a ton of attack speed because there are going to be a lot of enemies on the field. Now the reason why I'm I'm still a little apprehensive on more enemies is projectiles. Um, you know, obviously if it's an enemy that runs away, it doesn't matter how much damage I do if I can't get close to it. But my turrets are also spread all over the map, so... Hmm. Maybe that's still worth doing. It's a very powerful run. Very powerful. Very powerful item. But I also gotta keep in mind, um, I have zero HP. Like, I, like, this 60 HP might as well be, um, 30 HP. So, it, I'm, I'm in a lot of danger. If I could get... Tardigrade would be huge. I think Tardigrade would be very, very big. Um, Because it would help me out a lot taking out enemies. Sure, we can't crit in the first place. But I have so much crit. Oh, I wanted the dodge, that's why. Um, another turret. Yeah, I just gotta be careful. Uh, the more HP I can get, the better off I'll be. Um, so obviously armor does not exist for me. Does not exist. The better the heals are, the more regen. But Tardigrid, um, when you have a dodge run, I feel like Tardigrid is so much better because, like, it gives you that added security. Like, you're probably gonna dodge. Like, if we get to 90 dodge, 90% of the time we're gonna dodge. So, the fact that, um, when the 90 fails, or what are we at? 83? When that fails, it means we're not punished yet. Because it eats up the tardigrade. So, I think it's super, super Super, 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 super good. No, I'm a big fan of it. Um, so, I think that would be something pretty good. Do I want to push myself to 90 right now? No. Yes. Because the turrets do pierce. Gotta go with two blues... Um, nah. Nah. Not impressing me. I'm not ecstatic about that. But, yeah, now now the, the turrets will pierce. And our damage is good. What are we at? Uh, 67 engineering. That's pretty high. That's one of the highest you can get on any character, I think. Obviously, there's still the uh, Cyborg, but Cyborg kind of cheats. He doesn't get to engineering based off his own efforts. It's because of the flip to uh, from range to engineering. Which is all good. You know, different situations for different situ situations. I don't know. I am I am actually struggling to like <laughs> kill enemies without without my turrets like they're just crushing it. Uh, genuinely don't like any of those. I guess I'll take the luck. Not a big fan of that. That does not exist. This is just harvesting, so that's pretty bad. Even if that's just HP, that's pretty nice. The speed. Sure, I'll take the speed. All right, horde wave. Give us a chance to get lots of kills. 
Yeah, I like having this like 30 something speed. Show me shackles, I'll absolutely, I will graciously acquire the shackles. I'll become Rusty Shackleford. Let me know if you know what that reference is from. Also, um, if you can do this, uh, I'd be appreciative of me. Uh, I, I would be appreciative of it. If not, that's all good. Um, if I bring up multiple references and I'm like, what, do you know that reference? You say you don't know the reference. Um, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I forget what the reference is. So, if you do that, I'd appreciate it. Be like, uh, I don't know what X is uh, reference to. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> it's not a big deal, I promise. I promise. Regen. I can be shackled. I can be shackled. I can be a shackle man. That's really good. Combine those. I'm not finding enough of the uh, freaking ghost weapons, man. Where are my ghosties at? A sag. I might just combine and get the explosive one next time I, I pick one up. Cause I want to see the explosive one. Explosive one's cool. Um, if there's something you want to see modded, let me know, and I'll try and mod it. Um, I believe there are several. Obviously, seeing another YouTuber do it, um, cause I see some of the stuff that Rito's been doing, Rito from Retromation. Um, so I know that there's still like a lot of modded stuff I can do. Um, I'm trying to just do it at my own pace. I'm not gonna just copy what he's doing. Cause I, like obviously if I see a cool mod, I'm gonna play the cool mod. I'm not just trying to copy what he's doing. So, um, but uh, if there's like any of the things he's played, like feel free to be like, yo, that one was cool or you know, what, what have they. I guess I'll go with the luck. That's pretty big. I want a red one. Actually, no, that, that probably was a better combo. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if that was a better one. It's the one I made. Take that. That puts us over that 90 threshold. If you're wondering why I'm not taking the eyeballs, honestly, I don't want them to steal my kills. Like, that's, that is the real reason. Alright, I'm going to let my turrets kill him. Because I am scared of dying. That's, that's why I was very concerned about elites, and then I got a little overconfident. Um, if the turrets kill him, he can die. If the turrets don't kill him, that's fine. He didn't need to die. Because I don't really want to risk this run, because if, if I get in the middle of there, it only takes two hits, and I'm dead. So, while that should technically be a 1% chance... Um, one item that probably is not going to impact my run any, uh, really is not that important to me. Big Sag. I guess I'll take speed for literally no reason. Uh, it's too late. Too late for those. Oh, yeah, so about Bean Teacher. I think I brought that up in the last one. Um, Bean Teacher usually shows up too late. That's one of the reasons I'm not a big fan of Bean Teacher, is it's really late, and at that point in a run, um, the 40%'s not gonna go very far. That's why I usually avoid it. And it's also um lifesteal down. It's it's on the upper end of price. And usually I feel like I've taken something else to increase my XP percentage. So. And if there's an item you ever wonder, like, why doesn't he take it, why doesn't he like it, please let me know, and I will do my best to explain why I do or do not like it. 
Because it, it could be, you could be like, why do you always take so many of the tongue? Um, because I probably overtake that item for pickup radius. I overtake pickup radius because, uh, pickup radius just feels good. Um, it's kind of annoying when, like, you run by and it's like, oh, I missed, like, that one and then you have to double back and then, you know, it just, it's a little annoying. So that's why I usually, like, prioritize, uh, pickup radius. Absolutely. Nah. Just gonna say nah. To all of those. And sometimes, um, I know this is a lame answer, but sometimes it's just uh fit my fancy at the moment. Uh for for a lot of them, I'm not gonna lie, it, it's just it caught my fancy at the moment. Um and I, I don't have, like, a good explanation. I play this game very much gut feel. Like, obviously, there are things I understand are, like, objectively better or something. Um, like, I try to uh, take into account when someone, you know, corrects me on something. Like, try not to have too many blue turrets because they... Basically, it's... You're losing value. Um, so I try to take those into into account. And like, uh, you know, don't specifically tank yourself for the sake of tanking yourself. You know, it's not like, like I'm not going to take friggin' range up. Sometimes I will keep taking speed ups because I'm not paying attention. See? Um, but I do go a lot of gut feel at, at, in the moment. Well, that's really good. That's really good. Um, there's still a chance we could buy something. Sure, it's not gonna impact our speed. And I believe that is supposed to impact these guys. It doesn't say it doesn't impact the boss. So we can lower their speed down a ton. So I believe it does impact the knockback. Or sorry, their dash is actually what I meant. Yeah, that dash seems a lot more reasonable to uh, get around. Thank you for the consecutive dodge procs. Like, that's been really, really good been very healthy for this run. Um, cause I, I would like to come out of this perfect. Now, that's a little unrealistic. Uh, but it would be nice. Because it only takes two consecutive mistakes. Should only be a 1% chance. Roughly 1% chance. Uh, but we're we're procking these nicely. Like I haven't I haven't been hit. Uh, but I also have um a lot of regen. But 50 HP. Oh, we actually managed to finish him. I think it was like two seconds. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. You're all beautiful people. Hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of when other videos go live. And let me know about mods. Goodbye.